Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this special preview video of the Syria map for DCS World, we're excited to show off the MI-24P Hind cockpit for the first time in the video. While still very much a work in progress, we hope you enjoy this early look. To showcase it, we'll be taken off from Basel al-Assad Air Base that serves as Russia's primary base of operations in Syria. From there, we'll fly north to the city of Latakia and perform some road security along the way to visit a Russian naval task force that's doing a port call. Let's get started. Okay, so before we jump into the mission, we'll take a look at here in the mission editor. Now again, to orient ourselves from previous videos, uh, here are the Golan Heights, uh, the Damascus area, the Bacal Valley from previous videos. Now if we scroll uh, up the coast into Syria, uh, we're here at Basel al-Assad Air Base, and we're going to take off here from the helicopter area. We'll do a circuit around the base. Uh, we'll fly by this S-300 site that's doing air base security. And then we'll follow the main road from the airbase all the way up to the city of Latakia up here and do some road security along the way. Uh, once here, we'll do a little flyby of some visiting Russian ships that are doing a port call. Okay, let's see how this works out. All right, so welcome to Basal al-Assad Air Base and the cockpit of the Mi-24P Hind. Uh, we're taking a look now at the uh, pilot seat in the back. And now let's jump to the uh, co-pilot gunner seat in the front. Uh, here you can see the sighting system. And now let's jump back into the uh, pilot seat again. Okay, time to take off. So a bit of a uh, back stick and start putting some collective in. And we'll use the rudder pedals to uh, keep us pointing in the right direction. Okay, let's come off to the uh, direction of the runways. And start getting some forward momentum. A little stick forward. Gear up. And we'll pass over a uh, support center here. And then come off to the left. And we can see some SU-25s getting ready to take off. And just uh, in front of us to the right are uh, three uh, flankers on alert. Okay, let's uh, circle back now. We'll take a look at the uh, entire airfield. So up ahead we have the uh, the main uh, parking areas. There's like some SU-25s, 24s, some 34s. And here we go to the uh, main tower. And we'll continue uh, heading south and we'll do some base security. So up ahead we have one of the uh, additional support facilities. And you may also know the, the ramp where we have a 2S6 uh, station for a little air defense security. Okay, let's come off to the uh, left on the south side of the base. And now we'll go ahead and we'll run up the uh, west side of the base. Uh, 
And coming up here on the left is the airbase uh, ATC radar. And right up ahead here we have an additional ramp. And beyond that, now we have the uh, primary helicopter area, which we uh, started from. Okay, let's uh, come east and we'll head out to the sea. So at this point now I'm adjusting the trim on the high end to get it just about where I want to on the cyclic. Now one of the cooler features of this airbase is uh, Ugra went and they put in all the revetments and berms to support the S300 SAM site that protects the facility. And we're seeing that just up ahead here. Alright, so let's come north now. We'll fly a little over the sea and see some of the uh, transparent water effects that we put in. Now, I haven't had too much time in the hind so far, but from the time I have had in it, it's generally very easy helicopter fly. It pretty much does as you would expect it to, with not too many uh, unusual quirks at this point. Running uh, north to south along the coast here, there are uh, quite a few roads, uh, a couple of rail lines, so I'm sure we'll see some trains and a fair amount of road traffic. That uh, really gives the uh, map a much more alive, lived in look. Up ahead here we have one of the major highways so we'll uh, tuck in here for a little bit of the low flying and gives uh, some motorists a scare. Okay let's see if I can get a little bit lower. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Okay, that was fine. So uh, let's come off to the uh, right and parallel the highway just a little bit. At this point, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, co-pilot gunner seat. And we can also fly the helicopter from this seat, but of course also this is a seat that you would use uh, to guide in anti-tank guided missiles. Okay, let's jump back into the uh, pilot seat again.
It looks like we have a small industrial site here. And up ahead you can start seeing the uh, southern outskirts of the city of Latakia. And here on the southern side, we can see it's mostly industrial, warehouses, uh, commercial type spaces. We'll continue following the highway up into more residential parts. Okay, now we're entering the city of Latakia proper. Yeah, bring it down low and uh, fly between some of these buildings. Yeah, let's bring it up now so we can get a better look around the city. Up ahead there you can see the uh, the port of Latakia, and that's our next destination. Up ahead here we have uh, the shipping container storage area. And we'll come to the uh, left now. And this is where the uh, Russian ships should be berthed. It looks like we got a Moscow cruiser, a couple of missile patrol boats, and the Kuznetsov. And a little bit further ahead, we have some grain storage silos. So, I very much hope you enjoy this look at Latakia and the Mi-24P Hind. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.